Welcome to Grubbin' with Colt Moo. On today's episode, we have three different beers. Which is pretty standard for this show now. <laughs> we have a Guinness Red Harvest. Stout. Stout. Red Harvest Stout. An Nkasi Imperial, Imperial Stout. And Nkasi uh, Vanilla Otis. We have had... Regular Otis. Regular which Otis. fantastic. Which is great. Not Vanilla Otis. Our main event is actually the Guinness. I just bought it because it was crazy. Yeah, you don't see a lot of seasonal Guinnesses, really. We're going to go ahead and get started with the Vanilla Otis. And this one comes in at 7.2% ABV. Cheers! I'm not really getting any vanilla flavor. Yeah, there's a whole lot less vanilla than I was expecting. It just tastes like Otis. I was hoping for. Tastes mostly like Otis, which isn't a bad thing. But if you're gonna say it's vanilla, like, it should at least taste like vanilla. Yeah, man, I'm not good. I guess maybe, like, it tones down on some of the, the stout flavor. I guess maybe that's the vanilla. Maybe. I don't know. I'm it's, not, not, it's not as, like, sharp of a stout. Yeah, I would agree with that. It's sort of smoother, but still. It, it's like a... Instead of vanilla, they should have called it, like, Otis Cream Stout or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it, it, that's exactly it. It tastes more like a milk stout than, like, it has vanilla flavor. Yeah. Well, still drinkable, but, I mean, just go get you some Otis. Yeah. I'd give this a 7. I was gonna give it a, a six. Hmm. Yeah, I give it a six. Our next beer, Imperial High Gravity Stout. <laughs> this one's disturbing. High Gravity Stout, huh? Comes in at nine point one percent. So did Nick Cosi do like a fucking Get still some. reserve here? Is this what this is? Cheers. Ooh. Ooh, that is funky as fuck. Oh, weird. Oh, weird. <laughs> you get, like, that strong, like, hoppy ale flavor right at the beginning, but then you get all the high gravity. Yeah. Like... <laughs> that weird sweetness and... Like, actual, like, high gravity beers in the back end of it. It's this weird contrast. <laughs> oh, man. That is so bizarre. <laughs> like, I, I don't like it, but part of me likes it just because it's such a strange flavor. Yeah. Like, you know, you can you can tell, like... It's 9%. Nine nine percent, like, it's strong. Oh. <clears throat> you can tell it's strong. But it's got... It's, the hops are nice. They're a nice touch. It's like... I don't know, like drinking a fucking, like a black and tan made out of Mickey's and like, yeah, <laughs> a, right? a pale, an Indian pale ale. Yeah, that's, that's <clears> a, <throat> yeah, it's a Mickey's and an IPA mixed. <laughs> oh, oh my God. That is rough. I can already feel it. Yeah. That'll put some hair on your nuts. If you don't have nuts, it'll make you grow them. It's a weird chimeric <laughs> blend of... Chimeric. That's a fucking crazy that's beer. A good word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For what they're doing, like I, I, I can't beg on. I can't say that's a bad <laughs> that beer. That little bit that I did, though, man. Like I can feel it in my cheeks. <laughs> I know it'll make you feel rosy. Oh man. Uh, even though I like the flavors of the Otis better. Duh. Whoa. <laughs> I still think this has something to bring to the table. It's very interesting. It's not like the kind of beer I would usually buy again. Yeah. Or drink. Well, I actually might drink that again. You know, you might get a little craving for it. Kind of like in the way you get craving for snow caps. I was going to say, it's, it reminds me a lot of a snow cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. I'd have to give it a seven as well. I'm, I'm going to go with a six again. Like, it, it, if it wasn't in that realm of that snow cap, uh -huh. I think it would probably be like a four or a five, but. It reminds me enough of that, and then it is so strange. Yeah, it's quite unique. And our main event, Guinness Red Harvest Stout. 
no ABV on the can, so I'm assuming it's similar to normal Guinness, which is four-ish. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's nitro. <laughs> uh, it smells Guinnessy. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Let's just try this before you fucking pass out. Cheers. <laughs> Asshole. Oh wow, that is really interesting and smooth. It's super smooth, has all that nice nitro shit you love. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed because it's a little bit too light in flavor for me. Like, the reason I like Guinness is because you get that nice, stouty flavor, yeah. but it's really super smooth because of the nitro. This I really hate to say this, but it's almost a few nitro to Budweiser. Like it's got that sweet rice flavor almost. Yeah, it does. It does. <sighs> but it's got that awesome the the nitro the yeah. bubbles. The yeah, you're totally is. you're totally right. Like <clears throat> it's almost like a nitro pilsner. Mm -hmm. It is so super light in flavor. I was hoping there'd be more red, more amber ale happening in there, but you don't really get it. Maybe the nitro is covering it up. If you go to Hales in Silverdale, they have, like, a bunch of different beers, but they also have nitroed versions of, like, over half their beers. I'm gonna have to go there one of these days when I'm not hungover. Yeah. So they got, they got porters, they got ales, they got yeah. stouts, all of them on nitro. What I'm getting from this is sort of that same deal where, like, oh, hey, let's make a different beer and nitro it. But they didn't really balance the flavor of the beer to fit the nitro, whereas I think Hales pulls it off incredibly well. Yeah. I could drink the living fuck out of this. Oh, this is, though. yeah. this is. You could drink about 15 of these things and not even realize it, and then you're on your ass. Yeah, I, uh, this is not a bad beer at all. The bubbles are so fine. <clears throat> if you like nitro-style beers, it's a great option. It's just, it makes me sad that it's got the Guinness name on it. Yeah, it's just a little bit lacking, considering, yeah, it's Guinness. I like, expected a little bit more. We got, we got some high standards for Guinness, because Guinness is fucking amazing. And it's just, it's like, meh, it's alright. It's like Guinness Light. It's so easy to drink. You know, I have, I'm full, but seven. Seven's across the board. Seven. Seven, seven. Mm, I'm going to go back to the six. <laughs> <laughs> so I think these are all solid beers. All very solid entries, I think. If you, if you know what you're getting into, like, you could enjoy any one of these very easily. <clears throat> like, this this is probably, like, the outlier, just because it's flavor is so crazy, that... Yeah, but that was actually the better of them, just because it is so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're not a beer drinker, though, like, and you try that, you're... Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess if you've never had... <clears throat> you're gonna get your socks blown off and be like, what the fuck did you just make me drink? Good beers, I think. I would drink any one of these in the future again, if offered. I wouldn't pass them up here. That's... Yeah, for sure. This has been Grubbin' with Cold Moon. Thank you for watching. <laughs>